Hello, everybody. Just a little bit of a channel update. Um, I am feeling a lot better. Thank you guys for all your well wishes. David Greek, my original teacher, was here in Atlanta teaching. And so I was helping with that. And then I got strep throat and I was very, very grateful. I had pre-recorded some videos for this week. Um, I just finished up wrapping up Monday Mystery, which of course will be aired on Monday with Angie and Stephanie. It's a very interesting story that Angie presented. I also want to thank you guys. I've got a lot of people sending me emails regarding the uh, Hurricane Ian down in Florida. You guys are aware that I do have family in that area as I am often down there. Uh, and yes, uh, my family right now is, well, they hunkered down and stayed and rode out uh, Ian. They were right, right at the bullseye of this hurricane. And I know that there is a lot of damage. I have seen videos of the surrounding area. I think, uh, I think some hotels have been pulled down from what I can tell. Um, it's hard to make out where exactly the video footage is coming from because there is so much destruction. Um, as far as my family's uh, property, I think there's been some major roof damage and some trees have been pulled down. A lot of damage, but it doesn't seem like it's as bad as um, some other people. So I thank you guys for your well wishes. And um, yeah, just keep praying for Florida because it's getting hit getting it pretty hard. So, um, you know, and um, I, I do myself think there's something behind this, but that's just my conspiracy brain. Don't have any proof yet, but that's just my conspiracy brain moving forward. Um, anyway, something I wanted to just really reiterate you guys to you guys watching. And I know that most of you guys on my channel understand this. Part of this great awakening or actually like the most important part of this great awakening is us understanding what sovereignty is and what that means. There's no point in knowing what we know, learning what we've learned without us starting to do our own research. So if you're someone that switched the news, switched YouTube for the news, so if you were watching Anderson Cooper or any of the mainstream media people and then just switched over to watching a truther, be it me or someone else, then I would really suggest like really thinking about that. You know, the bad guys know the truth too. So we know the truth. The bad guys know the truth. We both know the truth. So what makes us different from them? Well, what makes us different from them is that we start acting in integrity and in sovereignty. So instead of taking one Simon Says and switching it for another Simon Says, we're listening to all, all viewpoints, all perspectives, and we're doing our own research and we're working on ourselves. And so if you're someone that is now saying, well, this truther said this, or this truther said that, and I'm just waiting to hear from this truther, then you've learned nothing from this great awakening. That's just the same as your friends and family that said, well, was it on the news? Is it on the news? It's no different. You're no different from them if you're just waiting to hear from some truther. All right. So really, really, really want to emphasize that. I really want to emphasize that. Every single person watching right now is incredibly smart. You're incredibly smart and you carry the spark of life from God. So what does that mean? That means that you have the ability to form your own opinions separate from anybody else. I say this on my channel all the time. There's no difference between you and me. I'm a researcher. I, reach, I researched it. Yes, it is on the back channel right now that I am of the Magdalene line, but I have talk, spoken about that on my channel before. So I am considered bloodline, but that doesn't really mean much, right? So I, I don't want people using that as a way to validate anything that I'm saying. Validate what I'm saying by doing your own research on what I say. As I've told you guys many, 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 many times, my opinion changes all the time because new information comes out or I see things in a different way. That's how we evolve as humans. And so it's really concerning. Like I'm, I'm getting very concerned that so many people are still waiting for a truther to say something or someone to do something. It's like, switching one leader for another leader. And the last time we did this, the last time society fell into this funk, we ended up where we are now with a crazy group of controllers 
running the show with their crazy, crazy rituals. We can't go back. We have to course correct. You know, if we just replace one group of leaders for another group of leaders, we've learned nothing. Nothing's going to change. So we have to start doing our own research. We have to start standing in our own sovereignty, right? We have to. And, you know, I, I'm so grateful for people who watch me, but I don't want you to just regurgitate things I say. Listen to what I'm saying and then do your own research. Read the missing books of the Bible for yourself. Look into all of this for yourself. Same thing with other truthers. Don't just regurgitate what they're saying because they said it. Because if that's what you're doing, I really hope that we can take like a, a moment of self-reflection. That that's not what this great awakening is about. I don't care what the media says. I don't care what some truther says. I want to know what you think. Oh, and I know I've had to take my comments off for a little while now because of threats. Um, and that is, I just sent the last of my stuff to the military yesterday. So that's all taken care of. They have everything. It's a military operation. I am a federal witness. I have been a federal witness since November of 2021. And now I'm again, have my own affidavits with the military. So they have everything. All right. And so hopefully soon I'll be able to open my comments back up again. But that's why before all this happened, like I would ask you guys to leave me your opinions in the comment section because I want to know what your opinion is too. I don't care what the other truthers said. I don't care what the media said. I want to know what you think because that's part of you having your sovereignty. If we all come together with our own opinions and our own perspectives, we build a better world. Instead of just saying, last time we left some, we left someone in charge. We did as Simon says. We had the church telling us what to believe. We had the school telling us what to think. We had the media telling us which narrative to follow. Do we really want to go back to that? That's up to us. Each and every single one of you. Your actions affect the greater whole. So what kind of a world do you want to live in? The truth is out there. Don't expect someone to tell you the truth or show you the truth. Instead, be that person for yourself. Find the truth for yourself. I have just as much, everything I use for my research, you too have access to as well. You, I don't have any different search engines from anybody watching right now. And I, how I research, this is what I do. I start with the official narrative. I start with the official narrative. I listen to lectures from professors at Harvard, at Yale, at Cambridge. I read all of the documents, I read theses written by graduate students. I look through lawsuits, all that kind of stuff. And then I start to deconstruct it. And I'll look and see what other people who have deconstructed it have said. And then I deconstruct what they have said. And I break things down. I have this full bookshelf. I have another full bookshelf in the other room. I have a storage unit full of notebooks where I have just taken so many notes and the research is never done. It's never done. A, a project I worked on a year ago, I can go back to and have a different perspective because time has changed and I see things differently now. And so everybody has the ability to do that. And I would encourage you to listen to what the official narrative is. Don't Poo poo it because you know it's a lie. Listen to what they're saying and then break everything down. Deconstruct it yourself. Yeah? Especially when it comes to the missing books in the Bible and it, and it comes to God. I mean, you have God inside of you, it's, He's already there. So why are you waiting for someone else to tell you who God is when God's literally in you? God's never left you. You don't have to invite the Holy Spirit in. You were born with the Holy Spirit in you. It's never left. So why do you need somebody to tell you what that looks like for you when you're literally the one carrying it inside of your body, inside of your, your soul? Why are you trying to tell someone to tell you what that is when you're the only one that can experience that? That's how powerful you are. And that's, that's the crux of it, right? If you still are under this illusion or delusion that you need somebody else to show you the way, then you're still under the programming of the bad guys. Because the truth is, you are powerful. 
your life has purpose. You carry everything within you that you need. The Yoga Sutras say this, and I've, I've said before, it took me a long time to figure that out. When Patanjali says that in the Yoga Sutras, that everything you have, you have within you, it took me a long time to figure that out, but I finally figured it out. You have everything you need in you to find the answers, to find the truth. You don't need me to show you the truth. You don't need somebody else to show you the truth. If you're watching my channel, I love you for it. But don't just take my right research at face value. Don't just be like, oh, because Bryce said this. No, no, no. Listen to what I say and then research what I say. I want to know what you think. Here's a topic we're working on. This is what I found in my research. This is my um, critical analysis of it. What's yours? What do you think? And the thing too with this is, is you don't have to have an opinion right away. There are some things that I don't actually have an opinion on right now. One being the Garden of Eden. I'm kind of juggling with different theories right now. And I haven't settled on, on an opinion yet. And that's okay. Sometimes it's okay to be in that place of, I don't know yet. I don't know. Give me time. Give me time to think through this. All right? And so I don't mean to, to come off as like harsh, but I just want to like shake people awake and be like, you are so much more powerful then you understand. And this nefarious group of people have dumbed you down to the point where you don't think you can actually make these decisions for yourself. But that's not the truth. They did that for a reason because you are powerful. You don't need Simon Says. You don't need to follow the leader. You need to follow yourself. What is your truth? What do you believe? What's your research? Okay? And so I just really, really want people to just really hone in on that. You know, it's also, we've talked about this a lot with all these like guilty people in this controller group. We have to let the evidence speak for itself and we have to trust that the court system is going to do its job. But as far as us as individuals, you know, I can't control what the military does. I can't control the past. I can't change the past. But what I can do is for me, I can course correct the trajectory of the future. And if we all settle into ourselves, we all descend into ourselves, heal ourselves, work on ourselves, do our own research, stop following the leader, then we will course correct ourselves into a beautiful world where we respect each other, where we listen to each other, where we value each other's opinion, but we don't hold each other as more as someone's opinion is more valuable than our own. All right. And so I just really, really want to like, just really express that to you guys, that you are smart. You have critical thinking skills. God gave you critical thinking skills for a reason. Everybody watching right now, I know you know how to read. That's all you need to be able to do to research is read. The most important thing you teach someone is how to read and write. Because once you teach them how to read and write, they can teach themselves anything. You were put here on this timeline for a reason. Take your power back. Take your power back from the media. Take your power back from YouTubers. Take your power back from these truthers because a lot of these truthers are infiltrators. So take your power back. Okay? You, you are important. You're important and your opinion matters. So stop giving it away to someone else that you don't even know. All right? Anyway. Okay, so uh, tomorrow I'm going to be filming with Emmy and Stephanie again for our next installment of The Shadow Work. I've got a lot of questions, and so we'll be answering that for you guys. And then again, uh, Monday Mystery. Something we spoke about today on our filming is we talked about doing an episode on deconstruction. So like what deconstruction looks like if you're coming out of the church. If that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know because that's that's the topic I really like talking about is like cult programming and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, let me know. Um, next week, we'll be back with Sophia and the Magdalene manuscript. I am still working on Thoth as well. So we can get into the Emerald Tablets, which are very, very interesting. And I know Stephanie's going to be working on the um, Egyptian Book of the Dead on her channel. So anyway, guys, and Catherine Edwards and I will be getting back to our coffee chats very, very, very soon. She started a new podcast and she also got sick as well. So we've been playing kind of phone tag right now, but that will be back very, very, very soon. Anyway, guys, lots of love to you guys. Lots of love to everybody in Florida. Again, my family's down there. I am keeping up with it. And 
we are praying for you guys and praying for healing over Florida. And um, let me know if there's anything we can do. If I have any uh, viewers from Florida that need help financially, um, maybe we can do a GoFundMe. Just let me know if I can use my platform to help you guys in any way rebuild your lives. Okay. So just, just email me if you're someone in Florida and your property has been devastated, your businesses have been devastated, been devastated. I understand how that feels. And I want you to go th guys to know there is hope. Please don't feel hopeless. Um, just let me know and we can maybe do a go GoFundMe for you or something. Okay. I'd be more than happy to promote anything like that on my channel to help you guys get back on your feet. So anyway, lots of love guys. We're all just walking each other home. Remember you matter. You're important. And I want to know what you think about topics. I don't want to know what the other truthers think about topics. I want to hear what you think. So anyway, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.